So I guess we see Anima and Otis just getting to work fixing food in the mess hall while... I am cross-checking with my my stupid list of Stavias approved. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, I picture Vi and Stavias like sit like a couple tables over staying out of the way but close enough for conversational purposes and or if needed, stabbing purposes. (laughs) Yes, Vi is always down for stabbing purposes. I think Vi also has tea that she may have offered to everyone else more as, I don't know, time to where she doesn't actually have to say anything. <laughs> it's just like... Vi goes to fix tea. Yes. Otis, when Animus shows you the list that she's working with things that Stavia straight up will not eat, it's comically long and comprehensive. <laughs> But you can see there's, like, annotations for not actual allergy, yeah. not actual allergy. This is an allergy with a very mild reaction, but it's an uncomfortable one. That looks like a, a lot of work that you're dealing with. Yeah. As Otis is, like, making a sandwich. It's a pretty well-stocked galley. It wouldn't be enough to feed everyone on the ship if the ship is full of as many people as it can hold. But it's plenty for... Seven people that are currently on. Six, seven. I can't. I don't ask you to math right now. Seven. Yeah, that we seven. Know of. Well, the layer don't eat, but. Yeah. After making this sandwich, Otis leans over to Anima, still trying to like break through like this like clear wall that is up, and is just like, okay, got a joke for you. <laughs> what does a vegan zombie say? And then holds up his sandwich and goes, Grains. Grains. Stavios dies of laughter. (laughs) (laughs) Vi has a look on her face like she is debating, does she hate this joke enough to try anything? (laughs) (laughs) Is this worth a stab? (laughs) Yeah, is it worth a stab? And is it worth the fallout from Anima? (laughs) Stavios is just like, Anima, you didn't tell me that you knew a comedian. Anima sort of collapses onto the counter and she's kind of shaking and for a second you can't tell if she's like laughing or has started crying. <laughs> I mean both are an option. Yeah, both are an option. <laughs> yeah. Both are valid. Vi sees this and slowly brings up a pistol or or a saber like hmm? <laughs> you don't need to kill your best friend's dad. <laughs> It's Nell's voice being like, you don't need to kill your best friend's yeah. dad. <laughs> yeah. why, why, is, why is your inner conscious an AI? <laughs> <laughs> That's not what Nell sounds like. No. <laughs> you can hear the voice of your mentor. Just because someone's making someone feel uncomfortable, you don't have to stab them. <laughs> Well, I wouldn't be stabbing them. Yeah. Vi's reaction, <laughs> Vi's response to that is, well, you don't have to, but you should always keep the option open. <laughs> <laughs> Depends all on the kind of uncomfortable. Right. Otis is, like, kind of unsure whether to, like, put like, a hand on Anima's shoulder or not in his... Um, okay, okay, no more no more jokes, no more jokes. I know, that was a bad one, that was a bad one. <laughs> Where have you been? Last time I, I saw you, you went on a mission with, with Dottie that was supposed to last a few years. How'd that go? Oh, boy. <sighs> Straight for the jugular, huh? What? Oh. Yeah, so... Here's a here's a fun fact about the last few years. I don't know what happened. What do you what do you mean? Like it was just from the time I left the pioneer to when I woke up to someone giving me an identification code. I have no memories. And even my memories of my time before that are shaky at best. Otis has kind of set his plate down on the on the counter and is kind of rubbing his head like 
kind of bewildered. Like it, this is like the kind of the first like crack of like this like nonchalant facade he's been putting up. He's like, we were really worried about you, but figured the lack of communication was just part of the job. Maybe it was, but how much do you know about areas outside of Alliance space? Roll of lore? But it's going to be a very high DC. Yeah. If you know anything about I do have a plus six to lore though, so get get your DC ready. <laughs> Twelve. So you know how in the real world there are all these theories about like life out on other planets and so forth? Mm-hmm. But it's all theoretical. Mm-hmm. That's about the level of life outside of Alliance space knowledge that you have. There are like theories about play- about systems, but aside from like the Lorenti Imperium, which people kind of know is a thing because they're an offshoot of the Eldori that formed their own place that's kind of out there. That's pretty much it. Yeah, I, I mean, you know, you, you hear rumors and whispers of things, but nothing, nothing really concrete. Why? Because somehow that's where I ended up. You ended up outside of the Alliance? Mm-hmm. So even if we were looking for you, we wouldn't have found you? Probably not. Even if you had found me, I wouldn't have known you. Any of you. I didn't even know myself. The only thing you had was your name. That was all you knew, and you didn't know why. The only thing I had was the name that I chose. Not even my clan name stayed with me. Wow. That must have been really lonely and hard. It was. But you're you're here now and trying to like bring the energy back up. Just like you're 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 here now and that's that's great. We can get everyone back together and we can help you find the clues to your your lost memories and unless you don't want that that's you know I'd understand if it was I would like to know how I ended up there and why I would like to know what happened to Dottie I'd like to see everyone again but I don't know if the pioneer is my place anymore it might not be your place anymore for right now. But that doesn't mean it can't become your place once again. I'll have to think about it, I think. Might also need more answers first. I understand. But hey, like I said, you're here. This that's a good that's this is a good good occasion. Let's um let's I, I, I didn't tell Route, you know, in, in my messages that that you were here. Obviously, I figured that's probably something you would like to uh, surprise him with, but you know, or not surprise him with. I don't, you know. I mean, you know. You don't have any other contact information in your sim. I mean, we could uh, we could surprise him when we get to we've said it like four times. What was the name of that planet? Pelsaris? Yeah, Pelsaros. Pelsaros. I mean, we would have to surprise him when we get to Pelsaros, or, I mean, I could use your... Yeah, yeah, we could do it now, we could do it when we get to Pelsaros. You know, either way. Because, <laughs> hmm, hmm, I got this one, and I, like, wiggle mine around from the captain who I'm working working with right now. On the Oval Star. Did you honestly forget the ship name? <laughs> no, I dropped my pen. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, there's a delay. I'm like, did you forget? It's literally in the time. No, I dropped my pen and it distracted me. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> okay, fair. we're good. Valid. Well, yeah, you, whatever, whatever works for you, I can give you route and and liberties 
contact information. That's that's not a problem. <laughs> just a random, <laughs> random contact. <Yeah>. Hey. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> New phone. Who dis? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Literally. So let's take a second and pan over to Guy and Stavios as you were watching this conversation. Y'all doing anything, or what's going through your head, or? I think. Davios was about to ask something and then the conversation took a pretty intense turn and then Stavios was like, you know, I don't do this often, but maybe it's time to like not speak. <laughs> <laughs> so I've just been like drinking the tea that Vi made. Just You wouldn't drink tea. It has leaves. Oh, you're right. <laughs> Okay, well, that's a good question. Is it loose leaf tea, or was it made with a tea bag? Because that's very important. Bye, you made it. That's your call. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Stavius, yes, give me a retroactive perception check. <laughs> as you're, like, watching oh, this conversation yeah. and go to grab the tea and do it with disadvantage because you're distracted by the conversation. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, actually, I, I think I would uh, do a thing. 14. <laughs> Vi, do you want to roll a sleight of hand check or like stealth? Yeah, sleight of hand uh, check. Yeah, I'll or do stealth, that. whichever's better. Uh, actually, stealth. Okay, thank you. Um, I'll just roll <laughs> manually because <laughs> how's my work going? Oh, great, twenty-five. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> man. So Vi, what is it? Stavios has been drinking without realizing they've been drinking it. It is uh, definitely loose leaf tea, because that is one of the things that Vi is like, how are you allergic to all leaves? <laughs> it's That is not an allergy, yeah, that, that is a preference. That is not an allergy. So, <laughs> so yes, you've just been sitting here enjoying this tea, and then you look down. Would it still have leaves in it, though? Yeah, I think Vi would have taken out the leaves. <laughs> Okay, so nice. Stavias, yes, you ha correction. You have no idea that this one's had leaves in it. It's very tasty. It's leaf juice, baby. <laughs> <laughs> it, I I think of it like a. It's kind of, I don't know. I'm trying to I. It's like if you like mash up broccoli and then you put it in something and then you can't see it. That's how Stavios prefers to eat things that they are allergic to. Because their mom would always say as they were growing up that like, oh, well, if you make it small enough, then it's not really there. So you're not, so it's not going to hurt you. So even if this is like a loose leaf situation that all the leaves are removed, Stavios isn't bothered. Stavios is drinking the tea, like motions over to Vine, like this is good. And then keep... <laughs> <laughs> So you're realizing just how far that boundary is. <laughs> okay, yeah, Vi's like... Mm. <laughs> Vi's pushing boundaries. Yeah. <laughs> Vi's like, okay, you can live. Yeah, like, okay. <laughs> All right, I see how far how far I can push this and tell Anima to, that she can push this. <laughs> Nell has been actively feeding Anima recipes that would give... Stavios all of the like nutrients they need without them seeing that it has leaves in it <laughs> or any of the other things. Stavios is that little kid that's just like, if I don't get my chicken nuggies and my crinkle cut french fries with ketchup on the side, I'm not eating. Ah, my six year old. <laughs> <laughs> but while I am taking like drinking the tea, I am listening to the conversation and I'm trying to glean as much about whatever's going on as possible without actually asking either of them because I you know I, I get like I think <laughs> Stavios is very charismatic and is supposed to be like a like good at social situations so I'm not going to try and actually ask a question so I'm just trying to absorb as much as I can you can roll something if you wish would that be like perception or insight? I'm gonna do insight because I have more in insight. Oh, that's only an eight. I guess I was too enraptured by the tea. <laughs> <laughs> it reminds you of something your mom used to would give you. 
Oh, <laughs> you see the tiniest little tear as I finish my cup, just the tiniest little tear go down Stathios' cheek, and then I try and wipe it away really fast. Probably having the moment of, I really need to go visit my mom. <laughs> <laughs> Anima gets to see her dads. Next we go get to visit yeah. Stathios' mom. <laughs> oh, man, what an adventure that will be. <laughs> We'll probably run into her at some point. At some point, maybe meet Vi's mentor, which would be an interesting time. Interesting. Yeah, very interesting. Yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Actually, I'll say, like, at this point, as this conversation's going on, Vi, you do get a message from your mentor saying, you'll never believe who I ran into. Oh, no. Yeah, Vi's like, Scarecrow? <laughs> Question mark? Scarecrow. Yeah, that was Kai's name. That was Kai's... Yeah, Scarecrow. Yeah. Not him. But the rest of his group. I found the nerd squad, which is what he... Oh, um, my. <laughs> after <laughs> Kai went poking into what he wasn't supposed to poke into, the rest of his group kind of eventually had to all just scatter. So your mentors found okay. the, like, the rest of awesome. his intelligence network. Awesome. Okay. I was like... Oh, can you tell me where? Maybe we can get um, Scarecrow to meet back up with them. If we can get him to be off planet. Which, yeah. It might help if you tell me where you found him. We're currently securing a ship. Oh, that would be even better. And if I just send him stuff. <laughs> you send him the information. Yeah, it's like, it is uninhabited, though. Uninhabited. From what I saw, so yeah, you may want to make sure to have enough fuel and everything to get back. Gotcha. I think they're excited to go see him. I will be there to make sure that um, nothing unfortunate happens to him because some of them are still a little peeved about whatever hornet's nest he kicked. Oh, yeah, I think he was looking. What was he looking more into? Uh, he was looking into the creation of the Ashen Guard, which I think you have shared that with him already. Oh, yeah, I think so. <laughs> yeah, like, I was like, he, he was looking into the creation of the Ashen Guard. You may want to be careful when introducing any of that group to Ashen Forge. Have you met an Ashen Forged yet? They are very different from the Ashen Guard. Do they look similar, sort of? <laughs> yes. The first one scared the daylights out of me, but when they didn't shoot me on sight and they waved and said hello, <laughs> that actually scared me more. <laughs> That's fair. If an Ashen Guard did that, yeah. But yeah, we got that figured out. That was weird. But yeah, so your, your mentors found other people who have been here a little bit longer than he has. So. Cool. I'll and they are securing a ship. You don't want to know. Don't worry about him. Yeah, no. Vi's just like, okay, go find, go, go, pick, go pick up Kai. Have fun. <laughs> go get the scarecrow. <laughs> yeah, go get scarecrow. It's fine. As you're having the conversation, camera pans back to uh, Anima and Otis as they're having their conversation. So, what have you been doing since you woke up? Looks like you've surrounded yourself with some good friends. That's a rather recent development. Past like two months. Yeah. So, there's something wrong outside of Alliance space. What do you mean? It was, they were, they were called the Ashen Guard. They were a pseudo-military force, I guess. Kind of. For where I was in Alliance space, and they were the only beings that... Federation, not Alliance. When I was outside of Alliance space, is what I'm saying. I never told him the oh, name of it. part of that cut off. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, part of that cut off on my end. My bad. Before I tell you do not go. I'm gonna tell you, but I'm asking you not to go because the people there are not friendly. 
Especially not to their Ashen Guard. The Ashen Guard look like Ashen Forge, but they they're not and they act semi-autonomously, but they're not it's like they're not there. Anything that would make them a person is just like it's been cut out. And they're given serial numbers. As you're saying this, uh, Otis's kind of expression is going from this still sort of cheery demeanor to a very, like, kind of angry demeanor. Is that what they did to you? Gave you a serial number and made you their servant? Yes. Yeah. For four years. For Otis, this is probably the most nightmare scenario thing you've ever heard of. Even the Ashen Forge to write dystopia don't write stuff this messed up. I mean, there's some that probably get a little close. Yeah. Yeah, I think hearing this and seeing how much it pains Anima to even talk about it, I think Otis just reaches out a hand to sort of give like a half hug kind of an over the shoulder hug and is I am I am so sorry that we didn't know we thought you were fine and never in a never in a million years would we have thought something like that was going on where is this place I know you said I you don't want me to go but I don't want any of you to go. Any of you. I don't want you to be dragged into that. I don't... Whatever they're doing, I don't... I don't think it's right. But I really, really, really don't want any of you involved in it. I don't want to be involved in it, really, but... I was neck deep in it for four years. So I think, you know, whether I like it or not, that's that's part of it. But but I don't know if they're the ones who took my memories or if that happened before and they just took advantage. But if they did wipe my memories, I don't want that to happen to any of you. Vi? Mm-hmm. Roll me a general intelligence check as Anima says that. Okay, intelligence. Not great. Okay, plus one, 17. When Anima says, I don't know if they did this to me, with your knowledge of the Federation's capabilities, even though you don't know everything just with your previous job and the stuff you were able to learn, stripping memories to that degree feels like something is very much outside of their capabilities. They stole like 12 years worth of memories. Okay. Ish. No, nine years. Something like that. That was far beyond anything they could do. They could maybe make someone forget, like, forget a month or so. Something like that's not something they would be capable of. At least not with their current capabilities and knowledge and technology. Okay, Vi will, would mental missive Anima at that point, saying, I know more of what the Federation was capable of, and the max amount of memories they could remove is probably about a month. I really don't think they were the ones who removed your memories, but they definitely took advantage of it. Regardless. Responding out loud to mental. Yeah. <laughs> it's fine. I have a potentially weird question that probably won't go anywhere. I mean, go for it. This is just a, like, out of game. Is there any possible way that my father is doing anything remotely similar to something no. like this? Okay, just making sure. I was gonna say to the removing removing memories from people or turning them into Well just they I mean they uh, you guys we could talk about my dad later, but he he does bad things on the regular. 
So I didn't know if maybe... That's... No. Okay. No, that... He has people that he can pay to make information go away. He is not involved in anything that revolves around erasing memories. That it would be... I mean, he's a... He's not a good person. He's not that kind of shady, though. Okay. That's a whole other level. At least he has boundaries? I don't... <laughs> Maybe Says a lot about how Stavias views his father that he is. <laughs> yeah. like, is this a thing that he be involved in? <laughs> hmm. The reason Stavias is like, I really don't want to be part of your legal team. <laughs> Otis is going to try to turn Anima to, to face him and look at her and just be like, what do you need from me? If you need me to leave, I will leave. Mm -mm. If you need me to stay, I will stay. If you need space, I'll go take a nap. It doesn't matter. Whatever you need. I I'm, I'm here for you, kid. You just made your sandwich. Go eat your sandwich. I'll be okay. Looks at the forgotten sandwich on the counter. <laughs> Go eat your grains, you vegan zombie. <laughs> Otis chuckles, grabs a fruit from like a fruit bowl and says, Hey, why did the fruit go to the doctor? To make the doctor run away? It wasn't peeling well. Again, Stavias, gut buster, laughs, laughs so hard, spits out some of the tea. Do you spit it out or do you snort it? Ooh. <laughs> I think I snort the tea. <laughs> Give me a con save. Let's see. <laughs> Wait, what'd you do the con save? Okay. <laughs> well, I mean, if you are going to voluntarily snort it, then you don't need to roll a con save to see. That's a 14 con save. I'll say you do snort the tea. It doesn't hurt. It doesn't scald as much as you would expect it to, but you do snort the tea. <laughs> really funny. Stavios, please don't die. <laughs> One way to clear out your sinuses. Oh, it's like the world's worst neti pot. <laughs> <laughs> no worse is when you snort milk. Ugh. Bro. That sucks. Or soda. I've done that. It sucks. Ooh. Ooh, soda. Yeah, oh, soda. Yeah. <laughs> that was the worst. So does everyone settle down to eat something or? Yes, and I inspect the food as I eat it. Just making sure that there's nothing in there that I can... that'll kill me. If Adam was fixing the food, that's not something you need to worry about. Yeah, I was like, the person <laughs> you should worry about is though. is not the... Is, is the assassin, not the... Well, you never know. Mistakes happen. The next thing I know, Anima could accidentally let a leaf in there. <laughs> How horrible. <laughs> I just picture that after, like, the second cup of tea but I just leans over that was loose leaf <laughs> <laughs> maybe <laughs> that's up to you is it better to tell or not to tell that is the question I think Vi would mental miss of anima being like I gave them loose leaf tea and they are <laughs> happy with it he <laughs> <laughs> Heavy sighs. Heavy sighs all around. What do y'all talk about over lunch? Literally anything else. <laughs> yeah, I was, gonna, I was gonna say, I think Vi would sort of look at Otis and maybe do um, actually insight about sort of I guess his thoughts or reaction about finding out about sort of about the Federation and knowing that Anima's not gonna tell him where it is. Yeah, go for it. Because Vi was definitely paying attention at that point. <laughs> okay, 16 plus 8, 24. So, Avery, <laughs> what does she get with the 24 about Otis's reaction to the Federation? So it's not visible on his face. In fact, he has reapplied his cheery demeanor, or their, their cheery demeanor. 
but you notice that they have had one hand sort of below the table on their phone, either typing or writing something. While they're not showing it on their face, they are very pensive. Who are you texting? What are you writing? I am sending a message to Route, still not giving all the details. Uh, I think that is Anima's decision to make. But I am cryptically sort of asking, hey, do you know anything about stuff outside of Alliance space? Been reading some really interesting research and, and saw a really cool documentary about theories and stuff. And so I just, you know... Have you heard of the Ashen Guard? <laughs> yeah. 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 Making That's friendly, crazy. making no, probably not that. But making small talk with your spouse, you know, is, is something that I personally am very good at. But also <laughs> also making it appear, you know, as it's just a regular conversation, not to, you know, not not related to anything at all. You know, don't be suspicious. <laughs> well, he had a six on his inside check, so <laughs> it's probably just going to turn into just like a spirited debate slash discussion on just like, well, there's the Lorendi Imperium. We've talked about like there's someone so had a theory about the possibility of there being a race that's like this, and there might be some like sentient gas. No, wait, that's the Blair. <laughs> Now they're sentient energy, so there might be something that's just like a sentient patches of gas, and <laughs> probably sends you a lot of stuff that you've already read. Yeah, yeah, that's all. So yeah, so that's 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 kind of what you see though. Is is okay. yeah, Otis furiously texting. I think even without knowing who they're texting to, Vi is going to mental missive Otis and be like. Before you do anything rash, I should probably tell you that trying a one person or just even one clan crusade against the people who kept Anima captive would be very ill-advised. I understand what your intentions are and your reasons for doing it, but I think you would run the risk more of having something similar potentially or attempted something similar attempted to you rather than overpowering them oh they would be so screwed yeah (laughs) but it's like don't do this that would be really like that would be catastrophically bad (laughs) to be blunt I think they could find you as very good Experiments. They wouldn't necessarily overall care that you are your own beings. Just be happy she is here and safe. And if the time comes, then maybe help with that. Otis looks up and smiles toward you, Vi, and... I'll just uh, mentally uh, reply back and just be like, I'm not planning anything rash, just gathering intel. And then out loud, sets his phone down and says, hey, do you want to see a trick? And starts to juggle. (laughs) Give me a dexterity check. Can I give him the help action? Can I like, is there a help action in this? (laughs) How are you going to help? I got psychic powers. I want him to succeed. <laughs> I want him to succeed. I was almost a nat one on the digital dice. It's a 19. Awesome. Oof. Nice. You do pretty well. It's 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 impressive. And you're able to keep it going. You don't drop. It stays nice and steady. I was going to say, Vi's response about the information is, I've known people who've had to disappear from there for finding out information. So be careful that people don't people who had to disappear they didn't actually find anything they were just like I wonder about this thing bye they didn't even find anything they were just looking and they were almost caught 
Now they're a creepy little hermit living alone yeah. on an uninhabited planet. It's okay. Someone may be coming to get them. It's fine. <laughs> Otis just replies and says, For Anima's sake, we will be extra, extra careful. Thank you for the warning. You see Vi sort of give a subtle nod. So, what's the topic of conversation at lunch? I imagine it's just like, hey, so I, you're like, who are your friends? What do you do? <laughs> kind of questions, like when you first introduce your friends to your parents for the first time. This is Stavias. They cause problems. Stavias, <laughs> gutted by that. This is Vi. <laughs> they make problems. Gutted. <laughs> They're also very good at talking. I don't know. They seemed very good at solving... They seemed very good at solving the problem of those, uh, those space shadow things. I'm also very lethal. The assassin next to them just drinks tea. <laughs> 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 just like, That's Vi. She makes jewelry. Yes, I do. Would you like to see some of my designs? I don't know if that, actually, I don't even know if Stavias knows Vi makes jewelry. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> I'm, I'm just... I don't think so. How am I your best friend and I don't know you make jewelry? We have known each other for four days, Stavias. <laughs> <laughs> but you didn't deny that we're best friends. That's not even... You're not That's even going to true. agree with me on that. Mm-hmm. We are not, but it seemed heartless after Anima's unintentional um, statement of truth that... <laughs> we would not be here. No, it might have been a much more controlled situation in which but you met the rest of your fa- your family. So yeah, Vi opens her notebook of finished designs and is showing them. You just have like several folders under some unit. Yes, and also I think she actually also has physical notepads, like a sketch pad. Yes, sketch pads as well. Yeah. Otis is very into these designs. Like, very excited. Like, being like, oh, oh, I think, I think Route would love this. And, oh, could, could, so do you, so you make this jewelry. Do you think I could order some from you when you get, you know, like set up or, or something? Cause. Sure. Yeah. I'm still working on having it set up. But here, uh, Vi sort of gives you um, a number for her. For, well, one of your some units. Um. <laughs> And it's like, um, yeah, I'll let you know. Well, hmm, I may need your number for that. Yeah, if you'll give me your contact information, I'll let you know when I'm more set up. I'm still trying to work on uh, logistics of more shipping because right now I'm with the Opal Star along with Anima. And we are more, we are very mobile right now. So still working out shipping. Makes sense. Makes sense. Hey, Otis, roll lore to see if you know what that ship is. That's a 13. You've heard of it, because basically around the time Anima went on her, uh, went off to do her thing, which you now realize has gone very differently than how you thought it did, Route had reached out to, like, members of the pirate court to offer, like, hey, we can be essentially emergency response, because... Yes, they are. The pioneer has the job of protecting that group of scientists, who I will eventually come up with a name for. There might be times when you're in an area, and if there needs to be an emergency response thing, getting an alert to see if you could step in. You probably heard of the Opal Star from, like, just talked about around that area. Okay. Namely, in that the Opal Star is back in business as of a couple of months ago. Yeah, I, I, I heard the Opal Star was kicking around again. That's that's great that, that y'all have found a, a, a good home on, on board that. Yeah, yeah, here's here's my contact info. Just let me know. And okay. uh, yeah, these are these are great. Yeah, thank you. We can talk about, you know, um, if there are any specific stones or any type of metals that would be specific. I don't know what Maybe your jobs would um, require certain metals to be possible or not possible. But yeah, we can talk more about that later. Stavias, what are you up to while this conversation about jewelry is going on? I'm kind of half listening and kind of trying to see if there's a way for me to open up an encrypted comms 
thing with Dandelion. I'll say you probably have something set up with her, just with the connection that you have. There's one that's like for a use for emergencies or communicating sensitive information, because um, that's how you help stay in her boss's good graces, is sometimes you feed information. Or sometimes you find yourself in need of information in order to remain useful and not dead. I'm going to kind of open that up. It's been, I, it's, I haven't done it. I mean, it's only been four days. So it's been four days since she's seen me. <laughs> and I'm going to send whatever information I could glean from what Anima and Otis were talking about. And then I'm going to ask her if she can figure out or if she knows anybody who even is tangentially connected to this. I have created a can of worms. Help me. Yeah, yeah, you have, but that's okay. Help. Give me an intelligence check to see how much you were able to glean and then communicate, or how effectively. No, that's an at one. Mm. There's a few minutes in her responses. Did you get drugged again? <laughs> Stavia says, well, first, no. Just how all that information came out was, like, borderline incomprehensible and not going to have her on the right target. So I think, so then I think, well, give me a minute. I mean, I'm doing two things at once. I'll email you. <laughs> I'll send you a, a much larger email later. Oh, yeah, then I close it off. But I'm kind of like, I'm not really engaging in the conversation as much as I normally would. Several planets away, we just see Mrs. Yellow staring at her semion and just face palm. <laughs> and then goes back to work. <laughs> oh, but I do also fill her in about what's happened on this mission thus far, because there has been a bunch of very interesting things that have happened that I think she would be genuinely interested in knowing. Like, the death of Tarko and all that stuff. The response is, you've certainly been busy. I will look into this. Wild four days. Wild four days. <laughs> yeah. I was thinking you couldn't get into too much trouble in the Opal Star River, but who am I kidding? They're always in some kind of trouble. But the captain's really good about not losing crew, so... Just stay safe, and if I, anything comes out about this that you need to worry about, I will let you know. I send her a little heart, and then, uh, in, like, asterisk hugs, asterisk. <laughs> She's very used to this. There are benefits to having a bestie that's the second hand of one of the biggest crime bosses in the galaxy. <laughs> Anyone else have conversations they want to have happen before everyone go take goes to take a probably well-deserved nap? I guess after everyone else leaves, I try and catch Anima. And I just say... If you do want to find out what happened... I may know people that could help us figure that out. I will remind you that you may have the ability to contact someone at Nova Station within the near future once they've been able to verify that the Basilisk is the actual Basilisk and the Opal Star catches up with you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. That one. Just a reminder, because it's been a minute since we've talked about that. Mm -hmm. Let's see if we can get that contact at Nova Station. Because that's where I was supposed to be working. If we can find out some information from them, maybe we can figure out more of what happened from this side. Because it would also not be a great idea, I think, for you to go over there. The Eldori were also not treated well. So, if you weren't human, you weren't treated well. Yeah. yeah. Well, by the by, general government. Yeah. Not every single person, but there were definitely some people that were 
much kinder. Not everyone in the government sucked, but yeah. So, let's try to stick on this side. Alright, just the offer is open, and if you ever need me to talk to some of my more interesting contacts, they do have access to an interesting amount of information about very interesting things. And then Savia says, also, the food was very delicious tonight, thank you very much. And then walks away. <laughs> yeah. Not all that, I kind of picture y'all might end up just bunking in the room that his family was going to be assigned to, just because it's, it's pretty comfortable and all in the same place. And as the lights go out, Otis says, Hey, what's a runner's favorite subject in school? What? Geography. <laughs> Listening to Board the Opal Star, an Esper Genesis 5e actual play podcast, DM'd and produced by Brianna Jean as part of Cedar Dim Social, a creative podcast network changing reality one story at a time. Filena is played by Alexis Workman. Anima is played by Casey Glover. Stavios is played by Shan Smith. Balamar is played by Blake Francis. And the theme music, as always, is by Patrick Chester of Chester Studios. If you don't want to wait to see what happens next, you can get early access to our episodes over at patreon.com slash pseudonymsocial. If you like our show, please consider leaving us a review on your favorite podcasting app so people can know where to find us. We couldn't do this without your help. To get more information on this or any of our other shows, check out our website at pseudonymsocial.com. <laughs>